guys don't know, my name is iCandy by Rhea, or you guys can just call me Rhea. And if you guys do know me, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you this really nice brown smoky eye, which I found. I obviously gave you two lip options, but honestly, this look, this eye makeup can be used any lip color that you want to use. It can be used for a daytime look if you're going out for brunch, you know. You can tone it down a little bit with the nude lips and like just casual clothes. Or you can like turn up clubbing with your friends so if you guys want to know how I did this look just keep watching before you do that don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below giving this video a like would help me so much and I'll help get my video out there and reach people also don't forget to comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions of any new videos you'd like to see and now let's hop right into the video so, to begin, I always start with a primer, and I am going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Put it all over my face. Like, literally a pea size, not even that. Um, I did wash and moisturize my face. I am going to go get my nails done soon. Um... I just wanted to take a break from acrylics and just let my nails kind of breathe. So that's why they look a little bit patch. A little bit. They look completely horrendous. And I'm sorry. Sorry for that. But now we've got a primer on and our skin is nice and smooth. It does create a barrier. MAC Studio Waterway SPF Foundation which is in NC35 and I just, I literally just dot a little bit on a beauty blender this is my Real Techniques one see I always dot it in the center, down here and then I put the remaining around my face and this literally is so light on the skin like I hardly feel like I am wearing foundation but it looks super full coverage I obviously prime my eyelids and I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20 and it does have an SPF of 35, just FYI. So I like to do my eyes and then my face because if, if anything's there I can always clean up but if I want to do a sharp edge I can just do it, you know, you never know what the look might, like the look I might create, it's just whatever goes on. So for a brown smoky eye, I always reach for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette because it has literally six shades of brown. Like if you can see here, it has so many shades of brown and has perfect transition shades and everything like that. I'm going to take a heap of salted caramel, this color right here, and I'm going to go in with the crease. And with my Anastasia Dual Ended Brush, I'm going to take the blending side and just blend that up to nearly our brow bone. With this coffee colour, which is the same colour that it used to deepen, putting it all over the lid. And then I'm going to go back in with my Dual Ended Brush and just blending that out. Take this medium brown shade right here. And I'm going to put that in my outer third of the eye. I'm really just dragging that into this outer V section and not going fully in, just on the outer third. That out. Don't worry if it gets too extra, we're gonna just blend that and you can easily just swap that away with like a Q-tip or a makeup wipe. But I really just focus on this area. Sorry for fucking guys up. It's all about making it look nice and blended rather than muddy. With a brown smoky eye, it gets really muddy really quickly if you don't blend it properly and you add too many colours. Now I'm going to take the Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner and I'm just going to line my lash line. 
With this look, we are going to stick to a wing because I find that looks super, super nice. Like, like, I never like to go too thick on the eyeliner because once you put the false lashes on, it looks really normal. So that's kind of the wing. It's a bit too extra. I might just cut that a bit short once I'm cleaning up my edge and it'll look perfect. So now that I've cleaned up my edges, I just applied my Lash Sensational by Maybelline Mascara, which I love so much. I love all Maybelline mascaras, no doubt. They have one of the best formulas in the market. So I highly suggest you grab one of the Maybelline mascaras. My favorites are the Lash, Sen Lash Sensational and the Falsies. They will never, ever fail. Never fail you, I promise. So I'm going to put on the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. These are one of the best lashes on the market. I highly suggest you guys get your hands on these. I always literally get like six Queen Bee lashes at a time because I use them so, so much. So these are really nice for like an everyday look. Um, I'm serious. Like I used to wear them every single day, but then I find that it might be a little bit too extra, but you know, if you're a little extra like me, they're perfect. And I also like to wear them when I'm glamming and going out. So these are perfect. These are amazing. So quickly, when my highlight and contour is still wet, I like to take the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow. And I like to take the lightest one right here. And I like to put that on the highest points of my cheeks. Just, can we just take a moment? To add a little bit of the glow, I'm going to take my Rose Dior Baked Blush by Milani. Which is beautiful, luminous blush. It's literally equivalent to Luminoso, but it has more of a pigment to it and a colour. So I'm going to smile. And put it on, not the apples on my cheeks because that doesn't suit kind of my face shape. To finish off, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit, my trusty highlighter palette. And I'm going to take a mixture of bubbly dripping in gold. And I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones. Just basking in that glow. Now I'm just going to save my face with the MAC Prep and Prime setting spray and just spray that all over my face. This literally melts any powder on your face and just turns it into like a skin looking finish. So now that we've got the outfit, the hair done and the jewellery on, I am going to finish off this look by lining my lips and putting on my two different lip options I have for you guys. The first lip trio consists of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and it's a bit of lip contouring we're going to do here and it consists of the three minis. I got like the whole like box of like 75 with the minis and I'm going to use Berlin, Los Angeles and Cairo which is like really really light but um, we're just going to put it in the center of our lips. This is the first lip option. So I just took these two colors and mixed them together and just smudged it on my lower lash line and kind of just joined it with the edge of the lid so it kind of just flows and just smokes out. That's how you create a smoky eye. I completely dismissed that and forgot it. Hence my intro did not have it but I got you sorted. We are going to put Meet Matt Hughes in Honest, which is this really bright coral lip colour. And this is lip option number two. So guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you, my beautiful best friends, in the next video. Bye.